to the Kennedy School and to the Center for Public Leadership, to the Gleitzman Program in Leadership for Social Change. It is so thrilling to see you all here tonight. And I think that this is the most eclectic mix of uh, celebrants uh, and, and folks uh, who are here to celebrate our honoree that we've ever had as long as I've been connected to the Gleitzman Program. And I think that's a real testament to Karen and her legacy and what she's been, all of the wonderful uh, work that she's been doing so far around the world. So, so thank you for being here tonight to help us celebrate. Um, obviously this turnout is reflective of all of the great respect that we all mutually have for Karen, uh, but this event would also not be possible without the generosity um, of a man named Alan Gleitzman uh, and his Gleitzman Foundation. Uh, Alan was a TV uh, and movie producer um, who over time acquired the rights to many different movies, television shows, like The Man in the Iron Mask and Speed Racer and uh, some Laurel and Hardy episodes uh, and, and said that he was never much of a TV producer but was really great at buying the rights to these various productions. Uh, in the late 80s, when movies began to be colorized, uh, he sold the rights to a lot of those movies and TV shows and, and amassed a pretty sizable fortune uh, and decided that it was time to retire from his day job. Uh, and he started a foundation called the Gleitzman Foundation that was intended to show the world the power of a single human being and uh, what someone was capable of accomplishing. And in the early 90s, decided that how he would, what he would do with those, uh, with his foundation, uh, was create an award called the Gleitzman Activist Award that was meant to showcase the works of these great individuals. And so in the early 90s, actually 1993, uh, he kicked off by honoring Nelson Mandela uh, as his first Gleitzman International Activist and proceeded from there to recognize all sorts of amazing people like Mohammed Yunus, a lot of folks active in the world of human rights um, from all over the world, and also created a domestic um, activist award as well that recognized some amazing social activists and entrepreneurs who are working here in the States. Uh, just an amazing legacy. And um, Alan, along the line somewhere, decided that uh, what we were doing at Harvard, and uh, the Kennedy School in particular, was pretty impressive, despite the fact that he was a Cornell alum. Um, I always like to put that in there. Uh, he, uh, he decided that uh, the Kennedy School had a really rich legacy in uh, uh, sharing the stories of amazing leaders with its students and wanted to leave his legacy uh, here uh, and, and, and uh, charged us with continuing the, the, um, the fine tradition of the Activist Award and, as al and also asked us to start a Gleitzman Leadership Fellows Program. Uh, we have our first class of Gleitzman Leadership Fellows this year, which is thrilling. And we've also been asked to kind of create a curriculum and uh, social change here at the Kennedy School and more broadly across Harvard. Uh, we've worked on partnering both with undergraduates uh, and with various schools across, the, 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 um, across Harvard. And it's just an amazing, amazing opportunity for us to really share the stories of social change with our students, with the greater Harvard community, uh, and, and with lots of other interested folks. It's wonderful that we can kind of bring you all together uh, at events like these and also uh, through our our ongoing uh, courses throughout the semester. So this award, the Activist Award, is given biennially. biennially. Uh, it, it, is, uh, it is accompanied by a $125,000 prize uh, in recognition of the wonderful efforts uh, of Karen in this particular instance. Um, and uh, we are really, really privileged to be able to recognize her here tonight. Um, Christine Letts is going to join us next and is going to tell us a little bit about a very special connection that she has with Karen. Uh, Christine is the Rita Hauser Senior Lecturer in the Practice of Philanthropy and Nonprofit Leadership and the Senior Associate Dean for Executive Education here at the Kennedy School. Uh, she and Karen have a, have a long history and I'm excited for her to tell you a little bit more about it. So, Christine, thank you.